Bundled up against the cold, take a winter stroll through the park, tossing sunflower seeds as they go. Who likes to eat seeds? Toddlers are unique in the fact that they go about uh, experiencing the world in a very different way than grown-ups do. But even at a young age, some of the kids are very hesitant, so we try and get them to be comfortable. I'll start off in the beginning of the year with small animals, like a turtle or something that's very non-threatening, so they, they get the idea that they can touch and they won't Where's get hurt. Fingers are good, and you can touch uh, his back. We did. And he's very <gasps> soft. Did. Do this again? is a ring neck dove. They're related to pigeons. They're yeah, all the same kind of bird. <gasps> Because it's natural to be afraid of, of certain things. But they're very, like, think first and act later, which is really cute because they'll just come out and say exactly what they're thinking, which is nice. Henry, yeah. This is Henry. And you can pet him really gently on the back, Freddie. Freddie, you gotta pet him. Freddie, look. Freddie, look. Freddie, look. Freddie, look. Freddie, look. Nice, Freddie. That's a, a ring neck stuff. Pretty right. much every animal in the animal room is handleable. Okay. Um, if they're not, if they don't like kids or they don't like to be handled, then they, we find them in another home. As far as the class goes, we're doing migration, so I was going to show them birds today. Uh, we did hibernation, and that was easy because, last week because we could see there are a number of animals that we actually have, like turtles and, and snakes, that do hi really hibernate. But sometimes the kids will just be, I want to see a rabbit. That's the biggest, that's our biggest hit, is a rabbit. That little kids, even at this age, would enjoy playing with animals, learning about the world around them. I mean, they're going to be outside digging holes in the ground and playing with worms anyway, so why not teach them about the worms, you know? I heard you.